I've done a few of these yard displays and I always like the look of them attached to my lamp post. I'm going to digitize this paper diagram. I'm using Logic Trace 2018 and I've selected combination as my method of digitizing. Combination selections are quick and accurate and they're specific to different parts of the diagram. Straight lines, arcs, curves, etc. Along with all the digitizing commands, there's also an edit command. So if you make a mistake, go to the edit command, toggle back to that portion where you don't like the, the tracing, remove it, and retrace it. There's a lot of repetition to this diagram. A lot of the parts are the same. So I'm only going to digitize or trace out the parts that I need and then when I put them into my program to set up the laser I'll just duplicate those parts, move them around kind of like cut and paste until I get what I want. That's the beauty here of creating a DXF file, digitizing these files. Because once you've got that file as a vector, you can rotate it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, or you can place it any place on your palette. I only had to trace out about eight to nine parts because of that repetition. I always find the compass rose diagram interesting. Again, here you can see the combination selection, the line, arc, trace, and curve selections. This type of yard display is very popular because you can attach to an existing post with your lamp on it. Just add to it, put it beneath the number. That's what I did. Looks good from the road. I'm showing this combination selection because I'll be selecting tracing for the letters. These letters were not a font that I could find, so I thought I might as well just trace them out as is. Tracing them out was fine. They look good. The material size here that I allocated is about 18 inches by 18 inches square. When I finish it and I create the final DXF file, then I'll go into Vectric Aspire 11.0, break up the parts and save the parts separately and that way I can bring each part back in orientated the way I want it for setup. Now that I've finished tracing out those parts, I'm going to load this file that I've created into Vectric Aspire 11.0, check the vector quality, and we'll do some layout. I'm going to take those duplicated parts and put them in position and finish up my layout.
Once I'm happy with the layout, I'm going to run this to the simulator just to see how it's going to look. I'm not going to be creating a toolpath. I've loaded the DXF file into the CO2 laser, programmed the laser for a cut through mahogany plywood. I'll be cutting two of these compass displays, one in reverse, gluing them together to make it thick. This display will be used out. The laser cuts were good and smooth. When I removed the compass display from the laser, the parts just fell out. In fact, I took a picture of the parts still on the laser bed after I removed the compass display. I was able to get that installed today between the snowstorms. Looks good.